Hey guys, how's it going? So cold and flu season is in full swing, so everybody in my house is down right now with the cold. So since we're sitting at home, I decided to do a short little review of the Peter Thomas Roth Mask Tasker, which is a application and removal tool for masks. It costs $12 at Sephora and Ulta and anywhere else you can buy Peter Thomas Roth products. So I have not used this yet, so I decided I would do a demo with you guys. So let's see how this goes. So with the Task Masker, it is recommended to use it with Peter Thomas Roth masks, but because my Peter Thomas Roth masks are all squeeze tubes, I did want to see how this tool works to the best of its abilities, so I didn't want a jar that I could dip into. So for that purpose, I am using the Basha Charcoal Pour Pudding mask today. <music> Okay guys, the mask is washed off. Before I even get started on the tool, I did want to very quickly review this mask since it is what I used. This is the Basha Charcoal Pore Pudding Mask. I have used it before. This is honestly one of the best charcoal masks I've ever used. It is a white and black mixture. The white part of the mask is very moisturizing and brightening and obviously a charcoal mask is for cleansing purposes, so you're left with very balanced, healthy looking skin afterwards. Sometimes when I use charcoal masks, my skin's very dry, but with this, I don't have those issues, so I didn't want to give a shout out to this, because I love it. Coming to the mask tasker tool itself. So let's just go step by step. The first step was to apply by dipping this into the jar. Yes, if your jar is deep enough like this was, or the Peter Thomas Roth ones are, this is great. Scooping is very easy and the application was so, so smooth, much better than using your fingers. So for that, this gets a plus one. The massaging the mask into your skin part, which is what this textured side is for, kind of has me stumped because when I did do that, yeah, sure, it feels really nice. That's great. But I feel like it kind of separated my mask. So my mask kind of was going all over the place. It wasn't as even as it was when I applied it. So I don't think that step is necessary. Maybe if you're using a mask like the thinner Peter Thomas Roth ones, like the cucumber mask or the uh, rose stem cell mask, those ones, this might be a good option. But even then, I don't feel like it's necessary. It's an unnecessary step, in my opinion. That's how I feel about that. But this part did come in handy in the next Step. The third step had me a little perplexed because it was a little difficult to remove. This side here is a little elevated and a little jagged, so it's ideal for removal. However, obviously when masks dry, it's a little bit more difficult to remove. So I did wash my face, I wet it, and then I used this to remove it and peel it off. Um, it did not work that well. Ultimately, what I ended up doing was using the textured side to kind of massage the mask off and then I started kind of scraping and that worked a little better, but it was it's not like you don't have to get your fingers dirty or get in there and use your hands anyway. Yes, it might save you a washcloth, but I wouldn't say it's the best. So overall, my opinion of the mask tasker is that it's a Handy tool to have. Yes, I didn't have to mess up my fingers. I got an even application. It was helpful with mask removal. So it's one of those products that I would say if you want to buy it and you really are interested in getting it, get it. 
but is it a necessary product or is it something that I would 100% say yes you need this? Absolutely not. That's my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. See you next time.